PeopleSoft Performance Management redesigns the performance management functionality in Fluid to provide managers, employees, and participants a modern enhanced user experience in conducting performance reviews. The Team Documents list shows the current team documents you have as the manager and where they are in the review cycle. You can filter the list using available facets and search fields, create new team documents, and view your delegated documents from other managers. What you can view or do on a document is highly configurable in the documents template. For example, add participants to the review or track their progress, and add goals and competencies to their sections. The More Actions menu appears in different locations to provide actions relevant to the document, step, section, and item. For example, you can perform these actions for the competency. Now add a goal to the document. The document template determines the types of goals and competencies you can add to the document. You'll complete this step when both the manager and employee agree with the criteria listed in the document. Then you can move to the next step. The Checkpoint and Finalize Criteria steps, if enabled, allow you to track the employee's mid-period progress. Here, you have the option to insert quick feedback about a goal or competency using the Quick Evaluation icon. Rate the goal using the STAR model. You can enter comments in rich text. Use the Change Visibility link to share your checkpoint feedback with the employee. Use the Final Criteria step to add any last-minute adjustments to the criteria before the evaluation step begins. Use the Evaluation step to finish entering ratings and comments for the performance review. As you go through the document, you can view your feedback from previous steps and completed employee self-evaluation and peer reviews as input. Users can also access documents on a tablet or phone. As an employee, you can check out your own review and peer review requests from others using the performance tile in Employee Self-Service. This completes our demonstration of the Fluidize Performance Management Document feature. The Manage Absences page enables you to view previous absence requests, create new absence requests, and view the balances and holiday calendar from the new Related Information panel. This page contains absence cards for recently requested absences. Each card provides a summary of the absence, including the name of the absence, the start date, duration, and the status of the absence request. From the Related Actions, you can view or cancel the absence. The View Absence action brings up a window with the details and request history. The Cancel Absence action opens a page for you to cancel the absence. The View All Requests link allows you to see all your requests. From the Create a New Request section, select the start and end dates using the calendar icon. Use the plus one day button to increment the end date one day at a time. Select the absence name for the request and enter the details. Balance hours and duration of the selected absence name is displayed. Enter partial day information if the request is only for a partial absence on all or any of the selected days. The Check Eligibility option pop-up displays your eligibility status based on the entered values. If required, you can also add comments in the comment section and add any attachments using the Add Attachment button. Use the View All Requests link to review the submitted request. You can add a new absence request on the Manage Absences page if needed. The Related Information panel shows two types of related content if enabled, Balances and Holiday Calendar. Use the Balances window to get more information on the absence balances by displaying the balances in a modal window, and the Holiday Calendar to view upcoming holidays for the next six months. You can also view holidays of a specified display period in a modal window. This completes the demonstration of the Manage Absences self-service page feature.
PeopleSoft HCM Update Image 45 delivers enhancements for the Enter Time and Time Summary pages. Changes include revised period header and timesheet columns, a new view by selector, removed weekly pagination, and more. On the Enter Time page, the period header includes a calendar icon that allows you to select a date for the specific week or timesheet period displayed. The colored banner represents the reported time against the scheduled time. The New View by dropdown allows you to view the timesheet either by week or by period. If the period is longer than a week, the View by Period option enables a scroll bar that allows you to view the timesheet for the entire period instead of navigating through the previous weekly pagination. The Columns for Time Reporting Code Quick Fill Time Details, Row Totals, and Add Delete Rows remain frozen while scrolling the timesheet to the right. The frozen columns include the Revised Time Details button, a new Row Totals column that shows the sum of time reported for a set of time details, and the Rearranged Add Delete Rows buttons. Administrators can expand the time details to the timesheet view from the Time and Labor Installation page. On the Day column header, you can see both the scheduled and reported time in a single line view. Use the Related Actions button to access the time summary, payable time, and add view comments. Related actions can be configured by the administrator. The Add Comment option for each row is now available in the Related Actions. On adding a comment, the Day column header would show a comment icon to indicate that a comment already exists. Similar to an elapsed time reporter, punch time reporters also have the new calendar icon to select a required date and the colored banner to represent the scheduled and reported time. The new View By dropdown allows you to view the timesheet either by week or by period. Enhancements are also available on the Time Summary page. Like the Enter Time page, the Time Summary page also has a revised period header that functions in a similar way. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Timesheet Enhancements. In Image 45, administrators can set up the Fluid Company directory to show additional information about a person. Now, employee rows will show pronouns next to their names, when defined, and not just in the header of their profile. For a person's title, organizations can now decide to display either the worker's job title, business title, or position title. Administrators can also configure the profile pages to display a person's remote work status as well as show that person's local time. Employees identify their local time zone on their own profile page. When a person has a remote work status of fully remote or hybrid, the Remote Worker Status page appears as a page tab within the Profile Navigation pages, providing more detail about the person's remote work. This completes the additional display configurability for Company Directory feature description. PeopleSoft HCM delivers several enhancements to display additional information about your coworkers on pages, such as pronoun and remote work status. Managers using the My Team pages can now view their employees' remote work status for the day. You can see immediately if your employees are working remote full-time or if they're working a hybrid schedule. If they've indicated which days they work remote, the status displays that as well. For those that work a flexible remote schedule, the status will either display just the hybrid link or the hybrid link with the percentage a person works remote. Select the active link for a hybrid employee to view details about their remote work. In addition to the My Team page enhancements, you can also configure Fluid Employee headers to provide a quick snapshot about an employee. With this feature, you're in control of the fields that appear next to an employee's name, such as a person's pronouns, contact details, or job-related information, 
allowing you to show header fields that are relevant to a Fluid application page. Like the Fluid employee header configuration, the classic pages now include the pronoun and remote status fields in the mouse over pop-up page. This completes the configurable Fluid header display feature description. PeopleSoft Benefits now allows employees to identify duplicate dependents when they add or update the dependent information. When you add a national ID that matches yours or any of your dependents, the system alerts you with an error message. You'll get a warning if the national ID matches any other employees or their dependents. This completes the Assist in Preventing Duplicate Dependence feature description. Payroll for North America now enables you to create bulk print files for two year-end forms using BI Publisher. This feature supports the bulk printing of Form 1099-R for four-corner laser cut and four-corner pressure seal, and Form 1042-S for laser cut, providing proper data alignment on these pre-printed forms. This completes the BI Publisher bulk printing for Forms 1042-S and 1099-R feature description. Remote Worker Insights now allows administrators to view the vaccination statuses of employees based on remote working status. You can see how many employees are vaccinated for each vaccine type. As with any other visualization, pause over a bar item to see the details of the vaccine and remote worker status. This completes the Remote Worker Vaccination Visualization feature description. The Remote Worker functionality in Fluid now enables administrators to delete requests that are in draft status. Prior to Image 45, only the person initiating a remote work request could delete an unsubmitted request. Since the system doesn't allow anyone to raise a new request for an employee while there is one in draft status, this allows the administrator to remove a draft request, enabling an employee, manager, or the administrator to submit a new one for this person. This completes the administrator's capability to delete draft remote worker request feature description. Applicants can now view posting information for the jobs applied to in Candidate Gateway. The job details are now available as a link in the application summary. Applicants can view the job details even if the posting is closed. This information is also available in the Interview Details page. This completes the applicant can see job posting information on application summary feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.